Hey, what's up guys? Justin here and welcome to this video of the under stair project that I did just recently. So it was about six days work in total, had quite a lot of carpentry to do, quite a lot of painting to do, but it was all good, really enjoyed it. Loads of fun, love the old carpentry and all that. Well, I've just sat down and I've finished compiling the video, so hope you enjoy it. If you've got any comments or questions, don't forget to leave them in the box below. That'll be awesome. Let me know what you think. And uh, hey, if you're local, I could come around and do something like this for you. So if you enjoy this video, guys, you want to see more stuff just like this, don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. That would be fantastic. Or you could subscribe right now. It's entirely up to you. One way or another, do it now, do it at the end. That will be cool. Fantastic. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. Right, well this is how it looked at the start, loads of stuff under there, very open space uh, and we're storing such a load of stuff underneath, it really does look quite cluttered. Here's the downstairs toilet, this is where I'm going to be putting the cupboard, I'm making a start, got the first button on the wall, lovely, nice picture of me there. Uh, uh, got some softwood edge in on the doors there, just planing that down, get them nice and smooth lovely job and there's the first door hung in the downstairs toilet for that cupboard and just a few panels there for the other doors to be fitted hey what's up guys justin here and uh just checking in with this job and letting you know how it's going so a little bit of detail here cutting out of the upright fitted that in quite nicely and there we go looking good well as you can see here I've got the batten in uh, on the wall for this first door that's going to be going here and uh, I've just been preparing it right here as you can see so we've got the, the angle up on this end here and uh, I have edged it as well I've put this softwood edging on to give the hinges something to grip onto because uh, you know trying to screw into the end of MDF is not great and uh, this is a bit of a quite a large door to be honest, it's, it's about 850 wide and uh, about 1700 tall with that angle on and uh, that's going to be going in this spot here, right here. Then we'll put a centre post in and we're going to have another door just down on this area here. So uh, yeah, cracking on and uh, it's all good. So a nice close up of uh, the baton and the door in the toilet. And that's one of the doors that I hung. And that's both doors hung, so looking pretty groovy. Let's check out how it's going in the bathroom or in the toilet here. And uh, as you can see, I've hung these two doors. So these are done. There's still a bit of work to do in here, but you can see there that these doors are in and done. And do you know what, pretty please. Uh, they went really well. Bit of adjustment on this left door, but uh, apart from that, all good. I've got a shelf to go in here, and I think that's it. Shelf to go in here, and then we've got paint it and everything, so uh, this is looking really good already. So we're filling in the side here, where it's all open under the stairs. This is going to be painted. And the other thing that I'm doing here also is filling in this space between each step. So eventually once these are in and the doors are in, it'll be completely enclosed and I think it'll look rather nice. So uh, yeah, there you go, quick update. And um, that's what I'm up to right now. And uh, so I'm gonna crack on and uh, I'll update you real soon. So, fair bit of cutting to do here, but I got all the panels cut to fit under the stairs, obviously making sure they're square, don't want them uh, all wonky, and that's how it looks finished from the underneath, very smart, nice job, that's how it looks from the front, lovely stuff. And there's a picture of me looking all kind of smug, maybe. <laughs> anyway, 
Here's a little bit of carpentry that I did for the centre post for the two doors, or the second door, under the stairs. Well, I've been here a few days now and uh, you might be able to see behind me here that we've uh, certainly been cracking on, or I've certainly been cracking on with the old uh, staircase bit here. You can see, got the doors on and just up here on the stairs, I've in filled between each step. So uh, let's take a bit of a closer look. So I've literally just hung this second cupboard door right here and uh, this one I did before the weekend so um, yeah that's uh, how it's looking so far. I've just fitted a couple of stops in here as well so when the door closes it obviously hits that stop there and I've done the same with this one as well so I just put this stop in here so you can see when that closes there we go that closes nicely and uh, hits that stop so I'm well pleased with how that's looking we just come round to this position here you can see how that fits in quite nicely under the stairs got some magnetic catches to put on there yet so uh, the doors have a little tendency to just open up slightly but think you'll agree once they're shut they look pretty good so uh, I've got to start painting those in a minute and uh, you can see here the uh, the infills on the steps that I've done didn't need to go all the way up because up here it's already been infilled where it literally goes up onto the next level but this was all the spaces in the under stairs storage so uh, yeah now they're all completely blocked in as you can see and uh, once that's all been painted white it's going to look pretty nice. So the other thing that I've done is also uh, fitted the shelf in the toilet so uh, as you know already I've got these doors that have gone in and uh, now that I've put the shelf in at the top As you can see here, I haven't fixed it yet, but you can see there, I've fitted the shelf. It's a little bit dark to see, but I've uh, fitted that shelf and I've fitted right close to the doors. So it is literally the stop for the doors and uh, we'll put a couple of magnetic catches on them as well. Well, so far so good. and. Uh, pretty happy because I've got all the woodwork done now, all the carpentry is done. So we'll get on with the painting right now and um, yeah, things going to look pretty nice. All the MDF doors were primed and undercoated and then it just leaves the rest of the staircase to paint with this Zinta Bullseye 1, 2, 3. Well, I'm upstairs at the moment as you probably can tell as there's a, a staircase right there but I'm just doing a bit of painting up here got the top part of the banister that I'm doing so I'm uh, just cracking on with this right now. This is pretty much the last bit I've got left to do with the priming and stain blocking and undercoat so uh, this will take me nearly to the end of the day and probably start with a little bit of um, satin on some of the doors downstairs a bit later but um, yeah doing pretty well. I'm hoping to finish tomorrow. Well, I am going to finish. I have to finish tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's going pretty good, so uh, it's all good. Hope you like it, and uh, uh, see you real soon. So this is the second coat that I'm now applying to the whole kind of staircase and banister. Wanted to give it a nice thick Coat. so uh, obviously two coats was the best thing to do. Two coats of primer, two coats of top satin, lovely. Also doing the top coat of satin on the cupboard doors under the stairs. Well done JB, get that nice and accurate, don't get paint on the floor. So I'm just cutting the edges with the paintbrush 
then I just used a small roller to paint the rest of the doors. In the downstairs toilet then, here we go, inside the cupboard, and there it is. So I've got that top shelf in, got those magnetic catches on, it's all been painted, it's all had two coats of satin, so it's all looking lovely, magnetic catches working well, good job. And here's how the understairs cupboards look as well. They've all been painted twice with satin, looking very nice indeed. Once those stairs get carpeted, it's going to look really nice. So we've got some nice glass knobs on the doors. Got the magnetic catches on as well, looking really nice. And then here are the paints that I used, the acrylic primer and undercoat for the MDF the Zinsa Bullseye 1, 2, 3 for the undercoat of the varnished wood. So then the whole lot had two coats and painted in this quick dry satin. 